so recently I was at a Code and Coffee meetup. I like to go to the local Code and Coffee meetup. It's run by a couple of friends of mine uh, that are kind of starting their own thing and they're connected with the, the young people in the tech industry. And um, I, think it's, I think it's a great thing. So I, I'm an old guy, so I show up and, you know, I've been in the industry 20 years. And if people want to talk to me, they want to talk to me. And um, one of the things that I talk a lot about is Terraform and Azure, um, automation and releasing software and stuff like that. And uh, it, it just struck me. This, I had an interesting conversation with a the person there. And uh, they, they said something that really punched me in the face. They were just like, you know, Mark, it's really nice that you show up to these things because it's nice to have, you know, an infrastructure guy around. <laughs> and I was just like, are you talking about me? An infrastructure guy? Um, you surely can't be talking about me. I'm a programmer. I'm a software developer. I'm a software architect. That's what I've been doing for 20 years. And yeah, sure. I write some Terraform. I write some HCL. I do a lot of Terraform. Okay. Spoiler alert. But surely like I'm not perceived as an infrastructure guy. It was just not that that's a bad thing, but it was, it just took me aback because like I identify as a software developer as a software architect, not an infrastructure guy. Um, and so it just got me thinking like what, when we do infrastructure as code, you know, if that's your main job, I, I also do like API development, but I'm more of a backend guy, you know, at this point. But, um, if your main job is writing Terraform, does that make you an infrastructure guy? I don't know. Um, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion on this um, because it's it's a weird it's a weird thing. Like I think there's it's a very disruptive aspect. Uh, it's a very disruptive trend in our industry. Infrastructure as code, and you know it, it's really taking more traditional click ops uh, type uh, click to deploy type training where things are done with a mouse and a keyboard um, and and replacing that with with code and with 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 software and you know some of these release mechanisms um, for releasing for configuring infrastructure deploying infrastructure managing infrastructure um, and then managing the release process for software onto that infrastructure um, it, it almost feels like software at this point, right? So yeah, it just, it just really smacked me um, in the face and made me kind of question, you know, who I am and ponder those deep thoughts and have a little bit of an identity crisis, right? Um, Cause you, you go around thinking, you know, oh, I've, I've been a software, I, I am a software developer. That's who I am. I'm a software architect. I design software, um, you know, but then you meet some new people, you tell them that you do Terraform and they think you're an infrastructure guy. And so it's just, yeah, let, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, do you, do you write, uh, infrastructure as code as your main job? Do you consider yourself an infrastructure guy? Do you consider yourself a programmer or a software developer? How do you identify? Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I think it's a big question for our industry. Like we're going to have to figure this out. Um, if people are coding, but they're coding infrastructure, are they like coders or are they infrastructure? Does it doesn't matter anymore? Like maybe this doesn't even matter. Um, but yeah, interesting thought. Just thought I'd share and, you know, see what you all thought about it. So let me know in the comments below. Cheers.